Oh, okay, we're lost in the snow. We'll be reincarnated in another world. I don't want to be reincarnated in another world. Listen to him. The snow is rapidly decreasing. Any uh, visibility, you decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. This is a terrible idea. We're going to die out here. And our cell phone service won't work out here because of this storm. Teddy? You walk quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. Are you guys okay? You guys are all still here, right? I'm present. You two, me, and... Hey, where, where's Teddy? Teddy! I'm here. There he is. No jokes like that. That snowman's talking right now, please. Oh, poor Teddy. This isn't good. Yes, absolutely, Prue. No, no, none of that. It's so cold that I'm just... Gonna die. Yeah, we gotta get shelter Don't quick. So easy. Show some guts, damn it. I will destroy it. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta go. I remember reading that the people who give up first are the ones who end up dying. So don't give up. Actually, Sensei. No. I think my batteries are about to wear out. Tada! You can't die. Don't fall asleep. No matter what. The... Come on, bro. I just said don't fall asleep. He just said not to fall asleep. Wake up. Dummy! Quit screwing around! You'll die! F -f for real! Look at Dom! Is Teddy able to feel the snow? Absolutely! He's just wearing a, a suit. And I'm pretty sure he has uh, only uh, some light cl uh, summer clothes in there. Remember, Teddy it doesn't really pack for a winter. Doesn't that look like a cottage? Quick, let's go! Great! And now he's hallucinating. You start dreaming on your feet and pretty soon you're t dead. I'm not dreaming, asshole. Open your freaking eyes and look. <laughs> Kanzi, I love you. I love you so much. You're so funny. But he's a bear. Yeah, but that's just a costume. He's not a real bear. Ooh, that is indeed a snowy mountain cottage. Quick, we got shelter. Go. Falls, the phone line gets cut, and one by one, the inhabitants die by the fireplace. Why would you say that now of all time? That Stop it. The least of our worries. Let's go. We, we can't stay out in the snow like this. Let's get over there. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. We gotta get warm. It's so cold outside. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Is anyone here? Time to bust the door down. There's no answer from inside. Huh? Oh, it's open. Oh, this is scary. Oh, look at that doll. That's scary. The door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. I can't see anything. Well, let's try and turn that light on above us. Oh, there's Where fire. I don't know. I don't know, but it's better than freezing to death. Look, there's fire. Just uh, ourselves lucky, there's okay? logs here. Can we make a fire? Know the lodge's phone number? No. We can call them up and have them send some rescue services or something. I don't know the number. Nope. No, no, no. Seriously? Don't tell me. No one knows what it is. Because I thought we were only staying here for two days. I didn't need to learn the phone number. Okay. I don't have my phone with me. Oh, well, that's true. Me neither. Really? Come on, man. That's why cell phones were invented. You're supposed to keep it around. Do you think it would even work in this area? Le nice, nice to meet you all. I'm a ghost. I got hit by a truck and think I know I'm being reincarnated here. Ah, right, listen here, come on, Kelly. Call. We're all hanging around together. Exactly. If you told me we were gonna get lost, I'd have remembered to bring it. <laughs> I love how Kaji always uh, uh, does that voice, and then at the end you're like, bring it. I love it. It's I'm so nice. Make it in here. Oh. You should have told me that this was gonna happen. You're supposed to be wearing your suit. Your freaking suit that's expensive from June ass. Don't say stuff like that. How was I supposed to know? If I'd known this was gonna happen, then we wouldn't have gotten lost. Yeah! Wait, what? Fine. I'll give Chie a call. Okay, okay. Come on, Yosuke. Quit stalling. Hurry up and call Chie-chan. Oh! So like I said, there's no signal here, right? Battery's dead. Oh, never mind. The battery's dead. Wow, okay. After all the shit you gave us for being unprepared, now this! Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's an old phone, so it runs out fast. I can't afford a new one because I was saving up for a motorcycle. Okay, we can't give you too much trouble. Something like this would happen. Yeah, right? <laughs> Who would have thought from all those spooky stories we were telling that this was not gonna happen? But it did. <clears throat> Come on, partner. You're our only hope. Me? Well, I have a fun. You're our hero, right? I, I, I'm a, I'm a hero. You always save us, Sensei. Uh, I thought we put that thing on airplane mode. You. Yeah. Uh, uh. We're staying here with such great hope in the rise. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I do have my phone on me. 
The screen says no service. Well, uh, it seems there's no signal here. Guys, I, I hate to break it to you. Yep. yep that's it then. It's hopeless. <laughs> I'm sure we're fine. We can stay here the night as long as we stay warm. We can make it. I'm so freezing. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, no. Even under that suit? We don't know when this blizzard's going to stop either. We're screwed if we have to spend the night oh, here. Oh, no. We'll be fine. There's plenty of things we could burn well, here. There's a hearth over there. Let's start a fire in that. Oh, yeah. How are we going to do that? I don't have a lighter or anything. Well, if we get two rocks, <laughs> combo breaker. <laughs> combo breaker. To use in it. Yeah, exactly. Fire time. You find old newspaper, some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the hearth. Yeah, let's go. Warm time. Man. It looks like we're going to survive this. Except that we don't have snacks, so I'm going to get hungry. And if you guys don't have snacks, I'm going to lose it. Look at where we are. Even if we do get in touch with the others, are they going to be able to find us? Maybe. I don't know. I bet we'll freeze here. Come tomorrow morning, we'll just be lumps of ice. I seriously doubt that. Stop worrying. No, shut up, Popcorn Dude. Don't worry. We'll manage. Ha 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 ha. Really? Yes, really. Shut up. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. Because we're the bros. Man, this little fire is too small to warm up the four of us. Uh, that's why we have to take turns with the we'll fire. Try to fire on part of the floor then. No, it will die. The place is made of wood. No. That's called arson. We'll end up all burning <laughs> dead instead of freezing to death. <laughs> we're going to die no matter what. <laughs> all you do is complain. I don't see you offering any ideas. <laughs> we can't start a fire. All we can do is wear more stuff. Is there a sleeping bag or something around here? Oh, let's look around. Oh, yeah. Like a big, big fuzzy bag is going to be just sitting here. What are you found, yo-yo? Oh. <laughs> We're going to wear Teddy. <laughs> Maybe it might fit full. Uh, no thanks. I don't want to know where that suit's been, so no thanks. But I'm like a newborn baby here. If the three of you come in... No, thank you! Innocence will be destroyed. Daddy, you need to get your mind out of the gutter. Will you not get off with that crap? <laughs> <laughs> ah! That thing turned on just now, right? It wasn't just me. That scared me. It's a TV. Um, I'll go take it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. R right. But why... It's a TV. I'm coming too, senpai. Let's go. Me three. This smells really fishy. This is weird. Let's go figure it out, bros. Out. What is this? Whoa, dude, stop it. What the hell are you doing? Quit fooling around. Uh-oh. Well, we have to find out, right, senpai? No, S sensei, stop it. You'll fall in. Oh, I guess we're falling in. Ah. Uh. Hey, Wh what do you guys think you're doing? Hey, it's the girls. They found us. Senpai, no, don't leave me. Oh, hey, girls, what's up? You're still dressed. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what were you guys thinking that we were going to happen? What are you doing here? How did you find us? Wait, what about our clothes? Wait, what about our clothes? <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> why wouldn't they be dressed? Yeah, why wouldn't we be dressed? Ahem. <laughs> Excuse me, moi. Uh, do I really have to spell it out? Where were you girls thinking of, huh? We had to warm up, no. Did you girls come to rescue us? I can't believe you came so far into the mountains after me. Yeah, after all of us. What are you talking about? This little hut is right behind the lodge we're staying in. Uh. We could have gone back to the lodge at any time. Ah ha ha. It seems it's a storage shed. They don't uh. lock it because <laughs> workers come here often during the day. We were not going to die at all. We were right behind the lodge. Anyway. <laughs> What were the four of you doing shoving each other around in here? Well, there was this TV noise. It sounded like a TV was turning on, and there's a TV right here, so let's turn the TV on. Uh, we were checking the TV. Yes, TV. Why? What's the matter with it? Oh, it suddenly just went bloop, bloop. Oh, uh, is this one of those male bonding things or something? Reese, don't say it like that. Do you want us to come back later? Reese! Some time? Reese! Don't look at us like that! We're normal! <laughs> No, no, you're completely misunderstanding. The girls' stares are painful. Dang, girls, rude. You desperately explain what happened just now. 
Wow, the only one here our side of the story. Okay, so you got lost, uh -huh, uh -huh. stumbled onto this yeah. convenient cottage, uh -huh, uh -huh. and needed to warm each other up. With fire! It's rude to stay, you know. No, damn it! Why aren't you listening? The TV just turned itself on. It makes no sense. The case has been over for months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe the wiring's bad or something, or you saw some light reflected in it. I heard the noise. Don't lie to me. This misunderstanding is unbearable. I feel so unclean. Unbearable. Yuck, 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 yuck. From the looks of it. This TV isn't even plugged in. If what you are all saying is true, then we may want to investigate this. Hey, fine, come on, believe me. That's what we've been saying from the start. Mm hmm. This TV, huh? Then let's take a closer look, shall we? Mm hmm. Hey, wait a sec. Let's take a peek. Ah! Chie, what are you doing? Oh, we got a cutscene too. Look at this. It's spooky. Ooh. She poked it! Ah! There's a hand! Oh, yikes! What the heck is going on? Uh-oh! Oh my god. It's a Margaret! <clears throat> yeah, you saw that, didn't you? Her Margaret's sleeve. <laughs> A new world. What the hell is this? <sighs> it's a Margaret, everybody. It's pretty here, though, wherever we are. Oh, are... Haniwa. Oh, those are the Haniwa from the ghost story last night. Oh, spooky. But who grabbed us? Hello? Oh, heels! My. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello, lady. Mm -hmm. Heels. Honey was? <laughs> nice heels, girl. Right, Margaret! Excuse me. Hey, wait, this is the first time you've actually been introduced to my friends. This is a kind of awkward. Uh, everybody, this is Margaret. She's from a blue door that only I could see. Uh, called the Velvet. I'm not crazy, okay? Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. No problem, Margaret. Whoa. She's beautiful. Yeah! Now is that the time for gawking? I think she's the one who grabbed me. Don't worry, everybody. Margaret is normal. Don't worry about it. Who is she? You know her? Yeah, it's a Mar- She's my sweetheart. No, she's a friend of sorts. I have only eyes for one person. Friend? That's Marie. What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Well, you know how I get these personas in the TV world? Well, I get them from her and a man with a long nose from my story last night. Is she not a sweetheart? Well, I mean... Forgive me for not introducing myself If I wasn't dating Marie. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. It's Margaret! I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm, well, can we trust her? Yes, of course. Absolutely. I see. I trust her with my life. Do you remember? <gasps> I have come to fulfill my promise. Yay! It's Marie time! Mm, you mean my, my, my girlfriend Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. Yes, thank you! I apologize for the amount of time it required me uh, to prepare. It's okay, M uh, Margaret. Uh, I know that it's hard to find Marie because she decided to leave without any clues of where she was going. You did ask to be taken to where Marie is. Yeah. This is the Hollow Forest. Okay, okay, okay. That's the nice. The realm created by her in the TV world, the world of the human mind. Uh -huh. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Okay, okay, gotcha. Well, blah, blah. I do not know everything. Oh, okay, never mind. But as you know, she was searching for her memory. Yeah, and yeah. By opening her heart to you. She finally regained that memory. Wait, she remembers now? It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping oh, for. Oh, Marie! She's in a rebellious face. Listen here. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? You know my girlfriend, Marie, that I introduced you to, uh, guys, back in the, uh, halfway through this game? Yeah, Marie? Yeah. You mean Marie-chan? Yeah. 
The one who was with you? And my girlfriend? Yes. I remember her. That fashionable girl with the hat. Right? And my girlfriend? You keep ignoring what that. What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? She had amnesia and then she suddenly got her memories back. Everyone is worried about Muddy. What should you do? Ahem. Explain Muddy's situation. I can't hide it from you guys anymore. Marie, she's my girlfriend. What girlfriend? She's my girlfriend, god dang it. You explained that Marie had lost her memory and that she is currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? Yep. We are inside the TV right now, correct? Yep. A missing person ending up in the TV. Yep. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. Oh no, she put herself in here willingly. I do not think this is the same situation. Yeah, she put herself in here. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. Yep, yep. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. Yep, Marie left me. She finally came here. Does that mean Marie's son has the persona ability as well? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I never asked her. But never mind. No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. Oh, like Teddy is. Interesting. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Wow, we're, don't talk about my girlfriend like that. I'll kill you. Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Yeah. Then aren't there shadows in here? Maybe. You're kidding me. That means... Marie is in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. Me? If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. That means you had some weird taste to date an alien. Listen here! I love Marie and I will not change my decision in this uh, playthrough. Is that why you brought my friends? I love my Marie. Whether she's from this world or not. Endless. You alone will not be able to reach her. Yeah! If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. How did you know it would be in that uh, that cottage, though, with the TV? Interesting. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. Because I don't want to fight by myself in this crazy place. I could die. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help. But you are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. Eh? I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. I always wonder what the Mar Margaret and other uh, assistants of the Velvet Room are, basically. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Yeah! Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. Uh-huh. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers. But what are you, Margaret? As I know that you have been capable of coming this far. There are multiple personality disorders. I don't know about that, but maybe. Who knows? They all look similar. One more thing. One more thing? As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. Yes? It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. I have a feeling about that. In other words... We can't come in and out of here forever? Yep, just like any other dungeon. Exactly. Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the hollow forest completes itself. What the heck does that mean? Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever. And you will never be able to visit here again. Well, we can't let that happen. We gotta get Marie out of here. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your <gasps> I will forget my girlfriend? I don't think so. Not on your life. We'll lose our memories. No, thank you. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? Never let that happen. I won't forget. I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. Ah, man. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Ah, man. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear. And you will return to your peaceful days. Man! No! This doesn't make sense! Well, we're not gonna let that happen, right, everybody? I merely have come to fulfill my promise. 
What you do is up to you. Thanks, Margaret. I we got this. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. Okay, okay, got it. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Oh, we gotta extend the ski trip. That's what you're saying. Got it. Mm -hmm. So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Got it, got it. Exactly. Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. So she was just filling. No! We're not losing Marie! I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. She's my girlfriend. I'm sure will. she would not wish that either. Shut up, Margaret. She's my girlfriend. I will do Please anything for her. Treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. No. We came here this far. We're not leaving Mo without Marie. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey, wait! Uh, please? Oh, there she goes! Ha 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 ha! There's the TV, though. It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. That's so ominous. This must be the exit. Like the ones Teddy has. Probably. So now what? We gotta say Marie! What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? Kanji's got so polite to say please. I know, right? Look at this boy. He's got She's the manners. She's in danger of being attacked by shadows. Then we've got to get in there and find her. Yeah! My girlfriend, we gotta save Hold her. On. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now at any rate. Uh, we cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. I guess so. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? I'm probably prepared. I don't know. Maybe I am. Oh, uh, what, dogs? My niece should be home here soon. Let's get ready. What thing? Because we're gonna end the stream course. soon. Yeah! Say Marie Chai, no matter what. Oh, oh we fell, we tumbled. Oh, oh, who was pushing me? Everyone was supposed to go one at a time. Shut it. There's eight of us, and it's a tiny freaking TV. One at a time. Oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? Oh, that's weird. Get out uh, of here. No. Get out of here, weirdo. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. Yeah, meeting time. Meeting, meeting, meeting time. We do? What are we gonna talk about? How are we gonna save Marie chan Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? Yes. I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Uh-uh. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Wow, you don't trust your Chia Senpai? Rude. Shut up! That's rude, you know. Show some sort of respect to your uh, Senpai. Yeah, uh, yeah, trust, Still, trust your senpai. <sighs> you know that whole Marie being from the other side <laughs> thing? <laughs> she is a bad word, so... Uh, trust your senpai, question mark! Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? I don't know, I guess. It's not really sinking in, though. I don't know. I couldn't even tell. I don't know. Sorry for keeping the secrets! No. It couldn't have been Aw, thanks for understanding, everybody. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. Yeah, and I didn't know if Marie wanted me to tell you guys or anything. It would be like the first time I met all of you. Yeah. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Uh, that's a good question. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? Maybe something she remembered. I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Well, her memory. And muddy. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. And Marie! Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. I literally just said so. Marie! Hey, I just thought of something. What is it? If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Yeah? Isn't that the same as dying? Well, I mean, if you want to put it like that. Well, wait, you mean she's trying to? I mean, ugh. Uh, no. But it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? Not on her life! She's erasing her own existence? Not gonna happen! I think Emi-chan's like me. Yeah, Teddy wanted to disappear. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. Yep. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow. But I think she Emmy? feels the same way I did. Oh, you mean Murdy? He calls her Emmy for some reason. I don't know. That she shouldn't exist. I guess he takes the E and the M in her name and just like Emmy, even though her name is Murdy. Teddy. 
The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? We can't live her like this. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Yeah. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. True, true. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Ah, Reese, we are your best same buds. Same with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started fighting back. Hmm? I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. Oh, God, In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Aw, Kanji. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yeah. Yes. But we're, we're all able to change. like now what Toad said. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. But we gotta do the same for Muri. we had dear friends. Yeah. Yeah. I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. Exactly. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. Yeah. Let's do it. Investigation team That's assemble. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. Yeah! It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. Bonsai! We should devote a day to it. Okay! Rise-san, can you scan that world? Yeah, please! From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. Bonsai! Hooray! If there are Bonsai. shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. We're gonna save money, chan All right, let's do this! Everyone's fired up! Oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Exactly. Yeah. All right. It's super sniffy time together with Reese. Okay, but you don't gotta say it like that. That's just weird. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber Teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. Okay, but can you send that ten times fast? But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Ew, that's disgusting. Please don't spread that news with us. Ew. Yeah, that's gross. Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. I mean, we never used Teddy in the fight anyway, because whatever. How rude. What do you mean, at least? That's <laughs> just how I imagine everyone's laughing Let's right now. Group at school. Oh, okay. I guess so. Why not? Your friends are thinking back to the way things used to be. According to Margaret, there isn't much time before that place closes. You must find Marie quickly. You will never be able to see her again. You are concerned about Marie, but first you should get a grasp of the situation at hand. Let's go. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. Now it's Monday, the 13th. Hooray! Today you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. School time. And we can go skiing again. Well, we're not, we can go skiing after we say Marie-chan. It's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. Meeting time. Freezy time. First, allow me to report. Okie dokie. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Oh, uh, well, she's not uh, registered. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. She, she doesn't have a family. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous yes, case. Yes, absolutely. Hey, no fair. You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. Uh-huh, uh -huh. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. Nope. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers. You won't be on any news. On, <laughs> but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. But basically, it's different this time. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. Nope, only Marie-chan. more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? Yeah. I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. Nope. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making could, sure we were ready we for it. We gotta handle it right now. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? Most likely. If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Maybe. Hollow forest. We heard that phrase before. 
In the last battle, right? Uh, yeah, the last battle with the witty. Amano Sagiri. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. Amano Sagiri. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Maybe, I don't know. It's all confusing. Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? I don't know, man. What's going on here? I'm confused, too. Hell? Who is she exactly? She's my girlfriend, and I don't know much about her because she had amnesia. Shut up. Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. Nope. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. Come on, we don't got time for research. Let's save my girlfriend. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? Why are you making sound like she's a bad guy? I'm going to be really angry now with those. It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, we'll find it, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm getting Whoever pumped she up. Is, we're not letting her die like this. Yeah. That's right. I'm burning up. Arr! Right, let's do it. Yeah. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. We'll save her. Yeah. Everyone's heart have come together. Wait a sec. If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? You back the fuck up. She's my girlfriend. What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, he is. You hurry to the mine cabin to save Marichan. Hooray! We're here. We can get to that hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there then. This place, that place is going to get closed off soon, right? Yeah, that Margaret person said it was definitely going to happen. I think we're still okay for today, but I can sense it getting further and further away. Uh, wait, does that mean we have no idea what will happen tomorrow? That is quite likely. It will be a completely different place until very recently. Because there's no guarantee that we'll be able to enter it tomorrow. We must do something about it today. Right, it'll be a bit tough, but we've got to do this. Come on, let's save Marichan today. Okay, back into the TV world. Let's go, Sensei. It's time to start the ritual. Yeah, the ritual to save Marichan. The dogs are barking. Hooray! Stop barking! Hey, you better quiet up right now. All right, huh? It's snowing. Oh, you're right. Huh, this is... This isn't snow. These are flower petals. You can hear a voice from somewhere. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my life blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return, the little mermaid. Faded to foam, the little mermaid. Is this Marie Chan's voice? She sounds so sad. No, Marie! Don't worry, we will save you! I'm hoping we're getting closer to the end of the dungeon where we can meet uh, Marie, wherever the. Oh, wait, what's happening? What's happening? I wish I had the money for a Resident Evil 8. Same here. Also, what's happening? Look, there's somebody over there. Is this not? Is this the? Is this the boss? Are we fighting now? Hello, Marie. Is that Who's you? There? It's Marie, my Marie girlfriend. Marie Chan. What are you wearing? I'm looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? What's the matter? See, not a good boss. This is not the not a good boss. Let's go on! I want you to come on with me! That's right, Marie-chan. Marie! We're all here to take you back home. Come on. Let's go. Okay? Okay! I have no home. <gasps> oh! You don't get it. You've got a weird eye there. Uh, I still love you, even if you got a weird, uh, left eye going on over there. <laughs> I love you anyway. Ooh, that eye. Don't talk about it in front of her! <laughs> Why do you come? Why? Because you're my girlfriend and I love you and I want you to come home with Marie me? Marie-chan, listen. That's not Marie. That's Marie. That's a shadow. No, that's Marie. That's my we girlfriend. You don't know what memories have come back to you or how bad they are. Yeah. But nothing good's going to happen if you lock yourself away in here. Absolutely. You can't I leave me. I being meddlesome, but we want to help you. I'm not leaving until you come home. <clears throat> meddlesome. That's one word. <laughs> I've been told that a you lot in this I was game. In danger, didn't you? Yep. That I might get killed by the shadows. Yep. It'd be better that way. Uh, excuse me, what? This is a grave. My grave. Not allowed. 
I'm going to die here. No, you're not. Not if I have anything to say about it. No, I don't think so. And we're here to stop you. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen. Uh oh, Nanako possessed Murray to control. That nest in there. Nanako had nothing to do with any of this. Shut up. You don't know anything. No. Emmy chan. You can't do this. No. Murray, neither of those is my name. Now what's your name, girl? I remember. I remember everything. What's your name? My real name is Kasumi no Okami. Uh, which do you prefer me to say? Kasumi or Okami? You guys fought Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? Uh, yes. I'm the same as them. Okay. I'm your enemy. One of the ones who covered your town with fog. Okay, but you didn't know. You had the amnesia and I still love you. You're my girlfriend. Shut up. Marie-chan is our... I'll never accept enemy? it. She is not my enemy. No way! Na 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 my role was to inform the Sigiri what the wish of the people was. Oh, okay. That's why I'm the only one of them that looks human. Oh, okay, Even okay. Even without my memory, my body fulfilled my role. Except you didn't expect to fall in love, now did you? I'm a spy. But don't have to forget, you said that you loved me. You were spying without knowing it? That's so cruel. Isn't it though? Do you understand now? Plus. I'll tell you something good. What's the good? If I don't die, then your world will disappear. So, don't come chasing I me. I don't think so. What do you think you're going? Girl, you better get the frick back. We will find a way to make us work. Come on, man. The world will disappear. I'm sure we'll be fine. We can't have the world disappear. I'm sure we can solve what it. What does she mean by that? I, I don't know. She says things. I know that she's one of those monsters. Like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and mm -hmm. Yamatame. But listen here! She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. I don't care if she does! She's not doing this! Now's not the time for deduction! She is trying to kill herself! We have to stop her! her like this. Absolutely! At any rate, let, we're rescuing her! Without a shadow of a doubt! I don't care yes. what anyone says! Either way, we cannot leave her be. Yeah! Let us hurry. Yes! We just started dating, Marie! You can't do this! I will help you with your problems. Lean on me. I am your boyfriend. Anyway, sorry again. Does she really want us to not come after her as much? Is that what she really thinks? Well, we come this far. We're not going to let her have her way here. Right, Senpai? Are you ready? When you cut this rope, you will be attacked by shadows. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully, but you never know. Okay, so thank you all for watching today's long stream of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, I'll stream it again when I'm able to, post it to the YouTube channel when I'm able to, and next time we are probably gonna be finished with the game, and the day after that, well, the next week, we'll probably play Persona 5 Strikers. Yeah, Alice did it, exactly. Ah, I'm so tired. We did it. So without further ado, bye-bye for now, everybody.